get the sense that you could get drafted or is free agent? I mean, is it hard to say kind of what teams are telling you, like if you fall on the board or free agent route? or? Uh, I mean, it's tough to say just because with my position, I mean, it's kind of a dying breed and not a lot of guys use it as much. So, I mean, it just really depends. I mean, I would love to say I could get drafted, but I mean, I can't say that with 100% confidence, but I'm going to try to make a team no matter what. Mm -hmm. What was um, what were some of the odder questions you got uh, in that process last week? Uh, I didn't get any direct questions from coaches that were really odd, but some of those uh, psychological tests were just had my head swimming, that's for sure. It was just hours and hours of same questions, weird questions, and it just burned me up. How did you, you feel like you tested? On the Whatever. Wonder Lick or? No, 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 on, on, on the physical test. Uh, physical testing, it wasn't all what I wanted. I mean, uh, 40, three cone, and 20 yard shuttle. I've done had had better times than that, but the other the other events, I think I had three PRs, which was pretty exciting. And as a as a whole, I think the combine went well for me. Were you surprised? I mean, to get the combine invite because of the position you're at, and how much do you think Coach Riley helped with his contacts in the NFL? Really making sure the scouts knew your abilities. Um, I was definitely surprised by the invite. I mean, never in a million years would have thought that would have happened. But uh, yeah, I think Coach Riley goes a long ways. Just uh, he's a very credible coach. A lot of coaches in the NFL know him, and uh, he he doesn't lie about stuff. So he's what he says. I mean, if he says it, he means it. You have a sense that uh, special teams is something you're going to have to excel at uh, at the next level, regardless of where you're drafted or taken as a free agent. Absolutely, especially with my position. I mean, with a guy like me, I'm playing a few snaps a game, so I got to be able to do other things for them to want to keep me around. There's been a pretty strong tradition of Nebraska fullbacks playing in the NFL. Have you reached out to any of those guys uh, who used to play in the league and asked for their thoughts or advice? Uh, not really, no. I mean, I just kind of keep to myself. I'll talk to the guys that from Nebraska that have been been there. Spencer Long was a big one for me. and uh, But no, I, I don't even know how to get their contact info. What um, what does Spencer tell you? Uh, get a lot of sleep before. Eat right. Uh, it's, it's a lot of a lot of mental and physical testing, more mental than physical. It's, uh, I think I was up 20 hours a day. I got 12 hours of sleep total in three nights, and it was by the by the time I got home, I was just wiped out. What do you do now? This day is over with. I mean, can you relax a little bit and, and, and enjoy life, or is it still kind of high pressure for the next month or so? Uh, unfortunately for me, I always worry myself a little bit, so I mean, I'm sure I'll be up at night thinking about it, but now I just keep keep uh, furthering my training a little more cardio based stuff or any workouts that scouts might want me to do and uh, just try to finish school. Did it cut into your hunting and fishing time doing all this stuff? Uh, thankfully uh, hunting season over right now so I don't have to worry about that. Who do you think is going to take your spot on the fullback here at Nebraska? There seems to be, you know, Harrison's obviously the, the lead guy but who are some of those other people you are looking to do a good job? Uh, yeah, Harrison right now he's I think he's got the lead role, but I know they're moving a few guys around. Uh, Luke McNitt being one of them. He's uh, he fits the type of fullback. I mean, he's a big guy, low to the ground. Just uh, I'm curious to see if he can hit. I don't know if he can go downhill or not. But uh, another guy would be Mitch McCann. Uh, curious to see how he does this this year too.